Hello everyone, my name is Andreas Rösler and welcome to another episode of Roden Schwartz video blog on LT and LT Advanced. If you wonder why we start this time with a picture, the reason is very simple. I would like to introduce you to an aspect that combines every piece of the ecosystem, means LTE devices, infrastructure including the complete network behind it, and applications. So to cut it short, I would like to talk to you about LTE network optimization while doing drive test. A drive test solution has three components, a scanner, a software that processes the data, and a device, for instance, a smartphone or a USB dongle. The scanner is usually a sensitive receiver module that is used as an independent probe to determine the network performance while doing channel quality measurements. In that sense, the scanner carries out the same measurements as a LTE capable device. Roden Schwartz scanner solution is the TSMW supporting a frequency range from 30 MHz all the way up to 6 GHz. The instantaneous RF bandwidth is 20 MHz. However, the beauty of this instrument is that due to its architecture and design, one scanner is all you need to scan multiple technologies, including LTE Wideband CDMA HSPA, GSM or CDMA 2000 1 xe video. And all this on various frequency bands within the mentioned frequency range and this down to a sensitivity of minus 127 dBm. Yes, all with just one scanner. No need for multiple instruments. This combination of critical features is unique in the market. Roden Schwartz drive test software is called ROMIS. It processes the measurement data provided by the TSMW. The software runs on a PC. PC and TSMW are connected via Ethernet cable. The advantage of this connection via TCP IP over, for example, USB, is simply speed. All features and functionalities that the scanner offers, for example, measuring six different technologies in parallel, scanning speeds of up to 200 measurements a second in LTE or UMTS, or even true LTE MIMO measurements, demand a fast connection to transfer all the recorded data. TCP IP outperforms USB in that matter. Romis is also used to interface to the device. The device is used to connect to the LTE network and using the established connection to run applications such as FTP or HTTP download or upload, pinging servers, video streaming or initiating voice calls and measure audio quality. All this is supported by the Romis software. The picture shows as an example a Samsung LTE USB dongle. Beside this, Romis supports all devices that are, for instance, driven by a Qualcomm chipset. And this is for all previously mentioned technologies. Now, what such a setup could be used for? One of the many examples is to take LT MIMO measurements while doing drive tests. What do you need for this? A scanner that has two independent R frontends, like the TSMW. Please have a look to the display backplane of the instruments, where we are highlighting both receivers. Both front ends provide the mentioned frequency range up to 6 GHz and the very same bandwidth of 20 MHz. With the two receiver, we are able to measure the channel metrics and use this information to determine the so-called condition number and further the rank of the transmission. The rank basically indicates if the channel is suitable for MIMO or not. An LTE device carries out very similar measurements. However, the methodology is not standardized. Here is where chipsets and devices differ from each other. So it is important to have an independent reliable source to assess the channel quality and compare the results with the ones provided by the device. The TSMW, driven by the Roma software, is the perfect tool for this job as it provides all the required functionality. So let's check it out. <laughs> 